Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for your Honey Badger with the Dank Bubbler and the Honey Badger Stand. Hello, everybody. This is the dab of the day. Welcome. Hope everybody's having a great morning. Great afternoon. Today is Wednesday. As always, if you enjoy this video, please send a like my way, hit that subscribe button, and I always respond to comments. Today's topic, defense mechanisms. Boy, oh boy. Dozens of different defense mechanisms have been identified out there. And some are used more than others, commonly. In most cases, though, psychological responses are not under a person's conscious control. This means you don't decide what you do when you do it. Here are a common couple defense mechanisms to discuss. Denial. Denial is one of the most common defense mechanisms. It occurs when you refuse to accept reality or facts. You block events, you block circumstances from your mind so that you don't have to deal with the emotional impact. In other words, you avoid the painful feelings or events. This defense mechanism is one of the most widely known too. The phrase, they're in denial, is commonly understood to mean a person is avoiding reality despite what may be obvious to people around them. Repression. Unsavory thoughts, painful memories, irrational beliefs can upset you. Instead of facing them, you might unconsciously choose to hide them in hopes of forgetting about them entirely. That does not mean, however, Memories disappear entirely. They may influence behaviors. They may impact future relationships. You may not realize the impact that this mechanism is having. Projection. Some thoughts or feelings you have about another person may make you uncomfortable. If you project those feelings, you are misattributing them to the other person. For example, you may dislike your no co-work your new coworker, but instead of accepting that, you choose to tell yourself that they dislike you. You see in their actions the things you wish you could do or say. Projection. It's an important term. So is displacement. You direct strong emotions and frustrations toward a person or object that doesn't feel threatening. This allows you to satisfy an impulse to react, but you don't risk significant consequences. And a good example of a defense mechanism is getting angry at your child or spouse because you had a bad day at work. Neither of these people is the target of your strong emotions, but reacting to them is likely less problematic than reacting to your boss. Regression. Some people who feel threatened and anxious may unconsciously escape to an earlier stage of development in their lives. This type of defense mechanism may be obvious for young children. If they experience trauma or loss, they may suddenly act as if they're younger again. They may even begin wetting the bed or sucking their thumb. Adults can regress too. Adults who are struggling to cope with events or behaviors may return to sleeping with a cherished stuffed animal, overeat foods they find comforting, or begin chain smoking or chewing on pencils or pens. They may also avoid everyday activities because they feel overwhelmed. Rationalization. We all know this one. Some people may attempt to explain undesirable behaviors with their own set of facts. This allows you to feel comfortable with the choice you made, even if you know on another level it's not right. For example, People who might be angry at coworkers for not coming to work, completing work on time could be ignoring the fact that they're typically late too. Sublimation. This type of defense mechanism is considered a positive strategy. Interesting. That's because people who rely on it choose to redirect strong emotions or feelings into an object or activity that's appropriate and safe. For example, instead of lashing out at your employees, you choose to channel your frustration into kickboxing or exercise. You could also funnel or direct the feelings into music, art or sports, or whatever. Reaction formation. People who use this defensive mechanism recognize how they feel 
but they choose to behave in the opposite manner of their instincts. A person who reacts this way, for example, may feel they should not express negative emotions such as anger or frustration. They choose instead to react in an overly positive way, kind of flip and a flop. Compartmentalization. Separating your life into independent sectors may feel like a way to protect many elements of it. For example, when you choose to not discuss personal life issues at work, you block off or compartmentalize that element of your life. This allows you to carry on facing the anxieties or challenges while you're in that setting or mindset. And finally, intellectualization. When you're hit with a trying situation, you may choose to remove all emotion from your responses and instead focus on quantitative facts. You may see this strategy in use when a person who is let go from a job chooses to spend their days creating spreadsheets of job opportunities and leads. Now we've talked about all these different defense mechanisms, but you know what? Some of them are unhealthy, some of them happen unhealthy and you don't want them. You gotta find accountability. You gotta learn coping strategies. And some defense mechanisms, frankly, are considered mature in the sense that you can use them and it's sustainable for you to continue to use them. Others are fleeting or one-off. But I hope this discussion on defense mechanisms was interesting for everyone. I believe we all have them and we all use them spontaneously and really don't know when we're using them. Let's take our dab of diamond rock we're going to do a diamond rock dab today with our honey badger special setup here. Here we go. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, join the Senior Stoner channel. It's getting bigger. Thank you for joining. Hit me with a subscribe, a like, and I respond to all comments. Here we go. Boy, this thing is amazing. The stand changes everything. I'd have to be using my hand <coughs> to find out <coughs> the best way to hold it. <coughs> Diamond dabs with the honey badger, with the stand, with the new bubbler. What a way to go. Wow. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Have a great day out there. And remember, we all have defense mechanisms. Cheers.